Hey guys, well this week hit the 100 mark, so that was pretty cool to see, definitely appreciate it. Maybe one day, I don't know, it'd be cool to, if it ever, uh, hopefully it keeps growing and maybe even hit a thousand one day, that'd be crazy. Um, this is, I, I tell you what, this is the shiz on freaking cleaning birds. Um, you know, like a uh, old friend of mine years back, you know, I had a uh, stain on a bird. And he told me about this product, um, and ever since then, I've been using it. Uh, it's called K2R. This is marine packaging, so it's like, most, at least around here in, in Texas, you're going to find it at like Ace Hardware. Uh, the Ace Hardware here is like really far away, so there's a uh, marine supply, and they, they have the marine variety. But it's really expensive. It's a bigger bottle too, I guess. So, but most of them in, in uh, Ace Hardware, I believe, are like the six ounce bottles. This is the twelve. It's either six or eight, and it's going to run about, you know, ten bucks a bottle, uh, maybe nine bucks, something like that. And this stuff, especially for feathers, because okay, so say uh, you're cleaning a bird or you dry them off, you're about to put them together, and then that's when, uh, as you're working, say, the wires or, uh, or hell, let's just say, you know, you accidentally spill some Dr. Pepper on them or, or splatter and after he's already dry. And even after he's mounted, you know, something happens in that last scenario. This stuff here, um, it's made for carpeting. To be honest, it sucks for carpet, but... For whatever reason with birds because um so i'll try to show it here i'll do it on this old borax piece so so what it is you can see it's the flakes already but it goes on as a liquid and it's got like an acetone that that dries and then as this starts to dry you'll see it it's going to turn into a white powder well what's good about that is once it turns white you can uh I'll normally just get like you can do it with a little blush brush too but if you go with the grain of the feathers then you can just kind of scrape it off and just blow off the the residue and what it does it absorbs obviously attacks and then it raises it to the surface so if you have a stain from deeper down it's going to penetrate that it's going to suck it out and then it's then wherever that stain is whatever may be causing it say it's like a uh a pellet hole or a break you know that caused a you know whatever um then that stuff's going to be really deep penetrated into the feathers and it's going to turn into this powder which is going to help absorb anything potentially from coming back and and then like on say snow geese it's a big problem uh birds with a lot of white on them golden eyes um you know things like that uh you spray this stuff on uh and like especially the under wings on snow geese because that's when you're working the wire and normally they're kind of a little bit shot up you know these big triple bees and all that kind of stuff so this really helps because then it, it'll turn that yellowish part maybe from a little bit of uh, moisture that leaked out a bullet hole and that's going to help turn it white again and uh so this stuff here guys um k2r i mean as, as much as i rave on about this stuff they should sponsor on <laughs> some kind of video but um, but this stuff here, like I said, Ace Hardware. Um, I know a few stores up n up north, uh, grocery stores carry it. But it's just a fabric cleaner, and and you know, so you can see it now, where it turns into just a white powder, and so you can wipe it off. It just turns into a white powder, and uh, it comes right off. So if you have anything, this is this is one of the honestly one of the best tips I can give uh, outside of actual mounting or whatever, because I mean this thing has saved so many different scenarios and situations of uh, you, know, you know again you know most of the time it's there's a bullet hole you didn't see or maybe uh, you know you're injecting the feet and a little got through the foot uh, maybe it's a lot of times it's under wing or maybe or a lot of times you'll get birds that'll have a stain and say somebody keeps it for a, you know a long period of time like a year or whatever and they have a, a say like a, a blood stain or something that's kind of made a white area where you clean it but it still has like a yellowish kind of tint to it 
um, this is what's going to help you with that. So, and I, I don't know what products they make, to be honest, as far as cleaning, but th this is uh, not only for effectiveness, but the fact that I could take a bird, I mean, I've used it on birds that, uh, you know, have been mounted for 10 years, and it's, it's nice on the feathers, it doesn't mess anything up, and uh, as long as you go with the grain, and, you know, there's a little, you know, bristle for the top, um, man, if you got like a real deep stain, maybe, but it's kind of rough, most of the time I just spray it on and let it dry, and then with this, you'll see the spot, you'll see the spot really start to um, be absorbed and come to the surface and it may even look worse after the first application but you just keep uh, you knock off the residue respray it let it dry knock it off respray it and you know sometimes you may have to do if it's on some of these geese or some of these bigger stains you know maybe it's a uh, you know a, uh, a fast situation on some birds old squaw for example um, they're gonna have a lot of uh, easy stains widgeon uh, you know some of the other what's white and as long as you have uh, with this rinse repeat rinse repeat and you can get it white again and then plus for the future you have all that powder deep down to help uh, to help with that so anyway hey, I appreciate it hopefully this helps I'm telling you <laughs> go buy this try it out and you'll be amazed the only thing I want to say lastly is on the head feathers it's a little different because it will clean it, but just keep in mind that it will kind of, that white, um, because the head normally has the most colors and the, the smaller feathers and uh, patterns, then there will be a little area, it's a little lighter, but you can go through with a, a paper towel with lacquer thinner and just kind of wipe that area down and then, you know, re-dry it and it'll be fine. But as far as body, wings, stuff like that, no problem. And just spray a nice big area and... Uh, this this stuff is without without a doubt i mean one of the biggest things they don't sell it nobody advertises it there's probably only a handful of people that know about it and it's probably from me and the other guy who told me about it so now you guys know but this this will definitely be one to help so anyway guys standing birds are coming up believe me there's uh, actually plenty coming up of some cool stuff and that is coming this week